Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about count rows and how it can benefit you when it comes to counting all the rows that you have within a table in Power BI. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this one. All right, so whether it's for sales, transactions, employees, or just general purpose, we want to always be able to count how many rows we have within a table of data because then that gives us a validation as well in case we're trying to ensure that the data is imported properly and that it's being used properly as well as we go in and filter that data and refine it even further. So today I'm going to show you the account rows DAX expression. So what we're going to do first, we're going to click on a location where we want to create our measure. So for this instance, I'm going to create it in absence analytics, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on new measure. And I'm just going to call this how many rows equals a good title it whatever you want right really it doesn't matter we're gonna blow this up a little bit bring in count rows now and then it's only going to ask me for one criteria right so that's how count rows really work is if you want to create more criteria you want to filter data right based upon the table that you're looking at you have to do more than count rows you have to bring in other dax expressions too but we're not going to do that for this instance we're going to just simply count how many rows we have within this table right so i want to click on absence analytics or you can just press tab and it'll bring it in as well if you want to go down and then we're just going to wrap that up so this would be my entire dax expression this is it right i'm just going to run this one real quick and now once that's done i'm going to go ahead and create a card then bring that over here i'm going to put in how many rows and then I'm just gonna ensure my formatting is good. And now we have a thousand separator. Now we have 5,061 rows, right? So we always wanna validate that data too. So if I just click on my table view, I click on my absence analytics, you can see here down at the bottom, there's 5,061 rows. Always wanna validate your data, always wanna validate your DAX expressions. For this one, we're good. And that's really how you use count rows, right? So it has so many use cases. So play around with it, let me know what your thoughts are. And thanks for watching.